Back in Alan's day, it was a man's world. But now, times have changed. When I was a little kid, I used to play with Hot Wheel cars instead of dolls like any normal girl. <laughs> Terrain Tamer is looking for parts specialists to train up. And Alan Gray is the toughest trainer around. Wow, look at the cat dragging. Can Alan leave his old school thinking behind? Yeah, so we've got to get some overalls with bumps in them. And... Can these girls prove that when it comes to the tools, they're as capable as any bloke? Tune in to find out. <laughs>
we'll get some of this gunk in here. And if you have a look there, you'll find that the dirt is um, certainly some dirt in there, isn't there? Yeah. And uh, it's being pumped down, and that actually, this particular filter has another fill up the top, but here it's got a centrifugal motion and the dirt falls to the bottom. And actually, when you turn it off, I'll turn it off there for a minute, somehow, then you'll find that the dirt will actually come down and fall into the bottom and stay there. What are we getting out of the bottom of it now? We'll get pure water. I mean, it would only take half that dirt to cost $10,000 worth of damage to a pump. And that's only the pump, not the engine. So in our experience, we don't think, that vehicle there is brand new, came with a two micron filter, um, two, three, four, something like that, very, very fine filter, but it can block up and we wouldn't know because it goes okay. So we believe to give that two micron some better life, so as we take the big bits out first, we believe in fitting a, an extra filter, a primary filter, okay? So uh, just pass us that filter down there, Rolly. Um, yeah, that's, that's our flash diesel filter. I'll give you a look at the inside of it. It's specially treated paper. There's this, this particular one's 30 micron. Okay, so that, that's the unit. Um, it's got a, it's not a glass bowl. Glass bowl has a tendency to do two things. It's affected by frost and can break. It's also affected by stones that can crack it. So this is a perspex see-through filter of glass. If it's dirty, you can undo that and drain, drain that out. You can also replace that with a little sensor unit that, that tells you if you've got water in it. And that sensor unit has a wire that goes up to the dashboard and says, hey, hang on a minute, you've got water there. Yeah. I want one fitted on that vehicle there. You reckon you girls could be up to fitting that? Yeah. All right, we've got a fitting kit for it. Uh, I want to see it done properly, okay? okay. All right, let's go. Can't be that hard. Don't you turn it the wrong way now, or there'll be serious bother, kid. So should that be tight before we do the top up? Or I'll is that not oh, I'll do it up fairly firm. Oh. Yeah, that'll work. Don't screw your fingers there, you'll have to run alongside. Do the other one up as well. Yeah. Well, uh, is there a washer go on that side? No. no? Oh, strike me pink. You got your lock tight certificate over <laughs> Good stuff. Are we tightening these up? Are we ever? Now or? Now. Now or never. How tight do these go, Alan? Just tighten them. Why don't they break off and then loosen them off about half a turn? Okay. <laughs> you really got to be careful of paintwork these days. This is only just ordinary sort of paint, you know, but in some cars, and you'll be dealing with Mercedes or whatever you deal with, um, if you've got a bit of brake fluid or something on there, you can't repaint it. You've got to paint the whole car, you know. I've seen a $7,000 paint job done because somebody dropped one drop of brake fluid on the mudguard yeah. or took that battery or took that battery soaked rag off and just laid it down there. And then, phew, once that battery actually gets into the paint, your history, you know. Right, what's next? Where are we going? We're going from the tank from the now tank to, to what? the primary filter, which is on the inlet That's side. our new primary filter, OK? Mm -hmm. Right, let's go. Doesn't take all day. Not reboring the motor, we're only just putting the filter on. Get it down out of the road, okay? So what we do now, we start up and make sure we've got no air leaks or fuel leaks. Probably you would need to run it for 20 minutes to make sure there are no air leaks. Okay, that's pretty good. Job well done. All across Australia, Terrain Tamer have you connected. <laughs>